Today I will be sharing the three tips on code combat. In my last two videos I showed you the basics of code combat um, in single player. In my second video I showed you how the where you can actually create a map and all that. In this video I'm going to explain some tips that may help you throughout the game. Let's get started. Uh, you can notice that they actually update this again. That's the uh, the good thing about this game is they actually update this. See these flags? The uh, last time you guys seen this video, these flags weren't here before. All right, we're just going to begin with level one because I just need that for the first tip, which will help you a lot in the game. Avoid the spikes, collect the gem, bonus, no code problems. Alright. So, the first tip is about your code. When you do your, your code, make sure you do everything right, because if you're writing, for example, when you get uh, later on, in the levels and when you have long strips I might actually show you an example of that uh, I one time had to write a hundred lines if you have to write and you typed all of them were all wrong you, you have to delete every line or find where you put the errors instead of doing that make sure you capitalize and learn all the capitalization so you don't have to go through that long process so when you type it out it will work that's my first tip to you because I made mis some, some mistakes on that and I used to do that where I don't really focus on my calculation and uh, when I get to levels like that it just took forever for me to get through that and it just sucked. So mine is just make sure you type everything correct. That is my first tip. Because there will be levels where you have to type large amount of scripts, and trust me, it sucks. Actually, I am going to show you an example of that. If it doesn't glitch up again, and like... I think this one's like pretty long. Yeah, I don't know why that's being glitchy. Sorry. Alright, sorry folks, I can't show you that. But, you know, get a visual station. Alright. My second tip is about the gems, actually. Which are these, these little box things, these right here. When you first, if, if when you first play this, do not go to the, uh, the item store and do not buy anything. Trust me, this will help you a lot. I did this. This is actually how you're going to actually beat this game. If you just start buying random items, when you get, you have to go through all this before you come out here. But uh, beat all these levels here. Then when you get to this level, actually start buying stuff. I'm still playing this, but I, I'm almost like I showed you last level. Uh, in the new update, they don't show you the rest, but I know I don't have that much to do. But anyway, it will help you a lot. Because if you spend it on worthless items later on when you get here, they're just going to be worthless. Save up your money, because when you get uh, level 11 or level 12, this armor that you need for later levels... That will like give you like I think 300 health. You really need that for the later levels. So I'm telling you, you need to save up as much gems as you can. The best thing you can do. Trust me. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I can pull this down so I can show you my gems. I have 58 gems because I kind of went uh money happy, but I actually got some good items. 
and it worked pretty well for me. Don't be like at the beginning, you get like items like this where it gets you eight health and then you have to like spend fifty. And plus those uh those items that used to be worth fifty will be actually cheaper. My point is like so you can buy cheaper armor, but the more expensive armor will give you like way more health. The armor I was talking about was, um, hang on. Might be this one. Yeah. Not 300, it's 297. But my point is, that's 660 if you spend it on random crap, which, and in a way, I kind of made a mistake. Like, I spent it on this, uh, watch thing and stuff like this. Like this right here, this. I really didn't know that. I didn't need this. All this does is just show you max health. You don't need that. And it, I spent about $100 on that. My point is, yeah, see, these are very expensive. See, it just shows you max. It's just... Don't freaking buy crap that you don't need. It will help you a lot. Alright. And my third tip is is um when you're coding like when you're in the first level I'm not saying you have to do this but it would be better if you do because you actually get more experience and more gems and more experience and gems Plus, the more the experience helps you level up, and the higher levels you are, the better stuff you can get. And the more gems you can get, the more better off you can be. What I'm saying is this stuff. Right here, avoid spikes. Try to get every, all these, uh, crush, uh all those completed. Because you will get so many more experience points and gems if you do that. Like, say if you have a bonus problem, you wouldn't get, uh, say if you have, like, a code problem, you wouldn't get the bonus. So, that is my third tip. So, tip one, make sure that your code is right. Make sure you actually learn the code. That's the point of this game, is actually to learn programming. Tip two is to uh, not go uh, mad happy with your freaking gems as soon as you get them. Because that, at the beginning, you're probably going to need to make a new file because you screwed over. You, there's certain things you actually need to get farther. You will not make it. And tip three, try to do your best to get all those, uh, all the, all these achievements. Uh, yeah. Well, all the bonuses and all that. I call them achievements, but the bonuses. Try to get everything, because if you can get everything, because there's a couple levels where I wish I would have got all the bonuses, but I didn't. And that concludes this tutorial. If you like this uh, mini-series on Code Combat, subscribe.